Hey folks, so I've come to a bit of an impasse with this project since my trusty DX6 transmitter decided to finally bite the dust. Uh, I've been having some issues with it for the last year or so, but now it'll barely even bind, and when it does, it's like there's a two second delay response from the receiver. I, I don't know what's wrong with it, but um, I tried it with a really cheap transmitter, and everything works as it should, but it doesn't have Elevon mixing, so that's a no-go. Uh, pretty much sucks considering the plane is now done and ready for a maiden and I can't even fly it. But this is the last video, or build video at least, just finishing up the little odds and ends. I cut out most of the soldering since it was fairly boring and I didn't get any video of the prep or painting but there's a clip at the end of this video that shows what it looks like now that it's done as well as a clip of the servos working and the motor spooling up and this thing is loud. The balsa acts as an amplifier, and you're going to hear this one coming from a mile away. So it has a fair bit of thrust, too, it feels like. So I think well, it'll be good to go once it finally gets airborne. But yeah, uh, trying to track down a cheap transmitter for now. Uh, I don't really have an RC budget at the moment, but in the meantime, I do have another project or two that I can start that doesn't require the DX6, so at least I can get something posted and in the air. But yeah. Sorry for the anticlimactic delay here, but I'll get it sorted out soon. But till then, just uh, installing the elevons and the control linkages and all that stuff. It's pretty tedious work, but uh, pretty important. Uh, I use 164th inch ply for the control horns and I don't remember the gauge, but pretty light gauge piano wire for the Z bends. I basically just poke a hole in one end of the control horn and a slot on the other end and that slot then fits down onto the control rod of the elevon and then gets glued into place being very careful not to glue the elevon into place at the same time which is pretty easy to do once the control horns are in place I can actually install the push rods and everything and actually connect the servos to the elevons and that's a pretty rewarding moment when you realize it's it's actually almost ready to actually fly. Not quite, but getting there. Once the elevons and servos are both connected, it's time for the soldering. Um, despite the fact that I know it's easier to lay everything out on a table and then solder everything that way and then install it, uh, I never do that for whatever reason, and I end up installing everything and then soldering it, which makes things just more of a pain in the butt. So uh, do things the easy way and solder everything up together and then install it if possible. And with all the soldering and everything done, I can finally close up the top of the fuselage. I added a little square of double-sided tape to the receiver and to the speed controller, and then I pushed those up against the top deck of the fuselage so they're not just dangling around in space. Then once all that was done, it was just some final sanding, knocking down the highest points of the glue areas, and then using some lightweight uh, spackle compound to fill up any gaps or dents, or uh, especially around the intake lip, where there was a couple fairly large holes that I was able to fill up and smooth out nicely. Once that spackle compound dries, it sands off nice and even, and uh, it's ready for paint. But yeah, final product. Uh, I had a little bit of overspray here and there, but you can't see it when it's in the air anyway, so I'm not too concerned. Got Nitro Charge's uh, Team 30 EDF logo on there. It looks pretty good. And uh, I just 
now realize that I have not added uh, any vertical stabilization yet, so I should probably put that on there before trying to do anything else with it. Here's some video of the servos working. Not in Elevon mode, but working nevertheless, as well as a little bit of throttle. I'm not kidding, I didn't even go up to quarter throttle, and uh, it blew that little plastic tape dispenser off the table with no problem, and it is really loud. <laughs> it should be pretty interesting. Thanks for watching.